At today's CMJ4 exclusive, the semi that got stuck on a footbridge in Lake Park on Tuesday was involved in another accident that same day. People were shocked to see that a semi drove down a bike path. And now we've learned that same semi knocked down a light pole in River West earlier in the day. Shannon Sims is live with this exclusive report. Shannon. Mike, I'm at the intersection of Holton and Locust. And while, like you said, this is exactly where that first accident happened, and the pole is behind me, and while it didn't hit a car, it did take down part of the sign of this church before falling down. Rerouting. Rerouting. It's the command that should have alerted a semi truck driver. He was headed the wrong way on Tuesday, but instead of recalculating, he ended up stuck on a pedestrian bridge in Lake Park. Barb Josie, like the rest of us, couldn't believe it. If you were driving a semi and it was pitch black and your GPS told you to go this way, would you? <laughs> you know, I'd say no. <laughs> you know, no street lights. So I. It, none of it makes sense. When Barb saw the semi's trailer on our newscast, she knew the rig looked very familiar. She'd seen that truck earlier in the day. One car, car was between me and the truck. Barb witnessed the truck knocking down a light pole at the intersection of Holton and Locust. As he's turning, you're here seeing the truck kind of creaking, and I'm going, oh my God. And he, and he hit the lamppost, and the lamppost went down, and where it went, I don't know. All I know is it didn't fall in, into my car. When the truck didn't stop, Barb followed it for nearly 10 blocks. And I couldn't see his license plate, but I could see his identification number, so I'm copying it down. Barb called Milwaukee police, and now they are citing the driver for the damage to the light pole. But it's still unclear how the semi ended up on this tiny footbridge in Lake Park. This is a mystery, really. I would not love to know what happened. And the sheriff's department is also trying to figure out what happened. They tell us they should have more information in the morning. Reporting live in River West, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. Yeah, it's still baffling. Thank you, Shannon.